Hi there Jeep owners. Today in your 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install e-trailers, class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver. So it's going to be great for all of your towing needs. Whether you're wanting to place accessories in it, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier and load them up to the max, or if you need to take along a medium or small size trailer with you for the weekend. It uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with the hitch, but we have plenty available at eTrailer.com here. On bottom, we have plate style safety chain loops, and it's got a medium to small size opening that should work with most of your medium and smaller size safety chains. If you do have larger safety chains you're wanting to attach, we do have quick links available that will allow any safety chain to easily attach to those by hooking this onto your safety chain loop on your hitch. It features a 600 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver, and that should be more than enough for a cargo carrier loaded to the max, or a four bike platform rack fully loaded up as well. It also features a 6,000 pound gross towing capacity, which is how much that it can pull behind it. And that's gonna be more than enough for your smaller and medium sized trailers fully loaded, as well as a pop-up camper or smaller camper if you wanna bring one with you to the campsite for the weekend. It is rated for use with the weight distribution system, and when doing so, it will increase our tongue weight to 750 pounds and our gross towing capacity to 7,500 pounds. A weight distribution system will take some of the weight off the back of our vehicle and help distribute it onto the front axle, leveling our vehicle back out, restoring lost braking and handling performance. We've got plenty of different weight distribution systems here at eTrailer.com, so you can look at the best style that suits your application. Now, as always, I recommend that you verify in your vehicle's owner's manual and ensure you don't exceed any of its towing capacities. And now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about three inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 15 and a half inches. This is important when determining if you need a drop, a rise, or a raised shank on any of your accessories. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle. On the inside of the frame on each side, we're going to have two bolts. We're going to remove those bolts on each side using a 21 millimeter socket. In some instances you may have three bolts on the side. If you do, we'll need to take those out. We can then raise our hitch to position, lining up the holes in our hitch with the holes in the frame, and then insert the hardware. Once you get one started on each side, it will hold the hitch up, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. We're installing the bolts that we removed previously to attach our hitch to the frame. Now that we've got one in on each side, we can reinstall the remaining bolts. If the caulk prevents you from lifting the hitch up, you may need to trim some of that caulk off. Just depends on if it will line up with the holes or not. We can then go back and tighten down our hardware. We can then go back and torque our hardware to the specifications found in our instructions. And that completes our installation of eTrailer's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee.